Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's amazing to see so many people here for this first London edition of Jamsec Conference. And it's been incredible to see the community growing around the Jamstack from each of our different conferences and, and sessions and online and meeting all the new vendors in the space and developers in the space and so on. It's also been incredible to see Netlify's own community grow over these years to now closing in on 600,000 developers and companies on, on our platform um, and using our tools to, to publish to our global platform. Um, at Netlify, we are, we are always thinking about like what, what can we, what more can we do for this community and what, what, what can we do to make, uh, to make it easier and more enjoyable to build Jamstack based uh, projects. Last time I, I, I spoke uh, was at Jamstack New York uh, some months ago where, where we launched Netlify Dev uh, to try to see how, what, what can we do to improve the local development experience? What can we do when you're working with serverless functions and add-ons and global rhetoric rules and rewrite rules? How can we make sure that as you're working on your local machine, what you see is the same like what, what you experience is exactly the same as when you push to Git and take something online. Um, this time we have another new announcement. After talking a lot to, to our users and, and listening to what, what, what people would really like to see next, we're really excited to launch Netlify Analytics. So this is something... So this is a really cool product that, that I'm excited to share with you all. Um, and something that we've been asked about a, a lot of times. And, and you could ask yourself why, like obviously there's a, there's a lot of options and a lot of great options for analytics out there. Google Analytics, Crazy Eggs, Kiss Metrics that can go very deep down into details and do very all kinds of advanced user tracking and so on. Um, but generally all of these types of analytics always depends on this um, setting where you have to add some third-party JavaScript to, to your site, and where you depend on that JavaScript loading reliably and uh, executing reliably, and where you will always have to add that extra load to your, to your website. At Netlify, obviously, we're we in a little bit of a different position because we're running people's site out of our global network. So we can plug directly into the traffic logs from each of our CDN edge nodes. Um, and of course, our challenge is that we have a lot of those traffic logs. We process billions and billions of requests every month, so we've had to done some, do some architecting to figure out how to actually extract the relevant analytics for these and, 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 and be able to surface them to you all. Um, the server-side approach gives some added benefits over the snippet-based approach uh, in, in terms of added performance, accuracy, and privacy. So when it comes to performance, obviously, like as soon as you do use uh, Google Analytics or Crazy Egg or any of these things, however useful they are, they, they do depend on you adding extra page weight to, to each of your page loads. And we've run some tests on this, and, and, and even if, if these tools are all extremely optimized and load in the background, they still tend to push the, the time to interactive, and especially on smaller devices where passing and processing the JavaScript competes with the rest of your code. Um, and we've seen them make a real difference. Sometimes you can't avoid using them, but if you can, you can get a huge performance boost from it. But the other, the other theme that, that, that we've seen become more and more important for people is um, accuracy of, of, of the data. And this is something that's changed a little over time, where, where for a long time, like client-side analytics had, had some advantages. But one of the things that, that's happened in, in the industry in recent years is that some users, the most recurs that might have, have JavaScript enabled, but what's more common is, is ad bloggers. Ad bloggers today are extremely common, especially if you target developer audiences on, 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 a, on a site like Netlify, we, we might see 60% usage of, of ad bloggers or something like that. And a lot of these ad bloggers are configured to also block all the analytics and tracking snippets on your site. Um, and that means that, that, that if you're adding Google Analytics, you might, you might simply not get the data. And you could say that, okay, you get a reasonable sample, but the behavior of the very tech-savvy advanced users 
that install ad blockers and block analytics traffic might actually not be exactly the same as, as, as the other user groups you have. So there's more and more need to, to figure out like how, how can I get some baseline, some simple baseline of knowing what, what's the actual traffic hitting my site. The other thing that, uh, that can be hard to track with, um, with a snippet-based system is, is when things doesn't work. Because if you're serving a 404 page or an image that's not there, you might not be able to inject any snippet like because you, you were not expecting that situation in the same way. Um, the other thing that's become more and more important is, is visitor privacy. Like we all, we all know the effects of the GDPR um, and, the, and the increased focus on, on analytics tools that, that, that share the path of users across a large, side of, uh, a large set of the internet. Um, one of our advantages is that since we don't need to inject any extra JavaScript and do anything extra, we can provide like privacy compliant analytics from our logs with, 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 uh, without any extra effort. So Netlify Analytics is, is, from the start, we always aim to build like really straightforward and, and simple products and, and not overload our, our, our users with, with information. So we're starting at Netlify Analytics with a, with a very clean and simple dashboard that will give you things like your page views, your unique visitors, the bandwidth used for your site, will give you charge for um, the monthly traffic to your site in both page views and unique visitors will surface the top pages of your website, uh, the top traffic sources, uh, and a really useful report of the, of the resources on your site that are giving not found to your users. Again, this is one of the things that you can't really track with a, with a client site, like if, if an image is, is, has been removed from, from your files since you last deployed or a JavaScript file is not there anymore. Um, no snippet-based analytics tool will tell you, but will surface this. Um, so Netlify Analytics is, is launching uh, actually right now. Um, at Netlify, we obviously use Netlify to build Netlify. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, is that I'm going to drag Netlify onto the screen here. Um, this is the Netlify project for app.netlify.com, which is the web UI for Netlify running on Netlify. Um, and one of the, one of the features that, that we have at Netlify is this, um, this capability of stopping auto-publishing. So right now on this site, we've paused auto-publishing, which means that when we push to GitHub, we'll still build every deploy, we'll build everything, but we won't actually publish it. And our team has pushed, has, has merged in the, the last pull request for analytics. Uh, we've built it here, and I have this uh, production deploy here that was successful. So what I'm gonna do here on stage is clicking <laughs> publish deploy. <laughs> Boom, here we go. And now if I actually refresh my UI uh, and go back to, let's, uh, let's go explore a bit. Um, Let's go to gemstack.org, for example. We now have a new analytics tab. And here we go. <laughs> this is uh, available right now on any Netlify site for $9 uh, a site. Um, and uh, I hope you'll all enjoy the experience. Thank you. <laughs>